Hello everybody, um, my name is Kaito Murata and today I'll be presenting to you all about child labor. Um, so I have a question for you all. Um, who here has had their first paid job before the age of 18? See, quite a few of you. Um, so when you think of child labor, the picture that most people imagine looks something like this. Children in the 16, 17 hundreds with dirt and grime on their face, but in reality, that's not really what it looks like. This is a video of me when I was 16, when I had my first job. Um, I'm all happy, I'm making money, I'm learning things about life, I'm really enjoying myself. And that's the reality of what most jobs look like. Most people get jobs before they turn 16. And here's a chart demonstrating what uh, the minimum working age uh, in every state in the United States looks like. 44 out of 50 of them allow children 14 years of age to begin working. Uh, with the exception of New Jersey. New Jersey does not allow uh, children under 16 to begin working. There's no doubt that education is one of the most important things. Um, nowadays, um, you can't get a decent job without an education. The human brain does not uh, stop developing until the mid to late 20s, uh, meaning that minors definitely are not fully developed. Um, think about middle school and high school. Uh, have you ever, uh, were you ever taught any important life skills such as doing taxes, financial literacy, or time management? I don't think so. These skills are essential. Uh, these skills are often overlooked. Um, to promote financial responsibility, why not include a tax filing form for children, um, and even if they don't need to file for taxes, it's a good way to learn and um, learn about financial literacy and tax compliance. Lowering the working age. Lowering the working age nationwide to the age of 14 can provide teenagers with uh, valuable working experiences and skills. Uh, children are eager to learn about different uh, uh, their different interests. Um, allowing them to work earlier can foster responsibility and help them transition into adulthood. Additionally, um, early employment can offer teenagers with a glimpse into uh, their various career paths look like. Uh, helping them make more informed decision when going for further education, especially in high school, when you start to narrow down what your career path will look like. Um, we can offer young teenagers uh, to take on more responsibility and gain practical experiences that will benefit them in the future. Nowadays, it's widely spread that um, teenagers um, have access to social media and other forms of content. There's many teens um, that are out there making tons of money, and it's a good thing. However, it also comes with um, some downsides. People always think about what are the different ways, uh, what about exploitation of children? Oh. Um, how do we keep them safe? Uh, actually, child labor laws here in Florida for 14 and 50 year olds make sure that kids cannot work in dangerous conditions and make sure that they can't work in uh, jobs that involve them in freezers and uh, meat coolers. They don't allow children to work with heavy machinery, uh, repair them uh, with motorized vehicles. There's lots of laws that make sure that children under 14 here in Florida um, aren't met with these hazardous, hazardous conditions. This topic is a very complex issue, and it needs to have very co careful consideration when making any change. Many teenagers, including myself, find value in early employment opportunities. With social media on the rise, children now have an additional avenue to make money um, and pursue their different interests. Uh, however, it's essential that children are protected from exploitation and their education and well-being is prioritized first. As we discussed today, uh, child labor varies 
Uh, child labor laws vary across all the states. Uh, these laws aim to protect children from danger and prioritize their safety and education. Uh, in conclusion, uh, by standardizing the minimum working age to 14 across all 50 states um, in the U.S., it would benefit not only teenagers but the economy as well. So by providing an opportunity for early employment, we can empower our next generation uh, with even more valuable skills than we had. Um, policy will make uh, sure that the future is brighter for our youth. Uh, let us support uh, to standardize the minimum working age to 14 and create opportunities for all teenagers to thrive.